Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today, with the topic of effect of prime transformations on the fundamental time period of a periodic signal. Now, this T0 you know is what? This is the fundamental time period, okay? If I would write here fundamental time period, so this would take half of the board and then we'll have nothing, no place to write on. So, time transformations, I hope you've seen that video that is already present in the playlist of signal and systems. If you've not, so first you need to see that. You need to know what time transformations are. So, we basically discussed three time transformations. The first is shifting, scaling and, uh, and reversal, okay? So, let's say first we see the effect of time shifting on the fundamental time period. Time shifting. So let me tell you that time shifting has no effect on the fundamental time period. So I will write it first over here that time shifting has no effect on and over here I would write it for fundamental time period. That is the not. Alright, now we explain it through an example. So let's say, let's say you consider a signal x1 of t and this is equal to sine of 2 pi t. This is equal to sine of 2 pi t. Now I shift this signal. So let's say we have x2 of t, it is equal to x1 of t plus 2. So now this plus minus advance delay shift right left is not our concern. What does this plus 2 mean? This you already know. Alright. So now we do what? We put t plus 2 in place of t in x1. So which means that x2 of t, x2 of t is what? It is sine of 2 pi into t plus 2 which makes x2 of t sine of 2 pi t plus 2 isn't it so now if you want to find out the fundamental if you want to find out the fundamental period you know that t naught is equal to 2 pi upon omega naught basically the magnitude of omega naught so 2 pi by omega naught over here omega naught is 2 pi omega naught is 2 pi so which means that the time period for this case is 2 pi upon 2 pi which is equal to 1 second and similarly over here have a look omega naught is 2 pi again so which means that the fundamental time period is again 2 pi upon 2 pi which is equal to 1 second which means that time shifting has no effect on the fundamental time period of a function this 2 you would say what is this 2? So this basically is the phase, right? This is the phase shift. And this phase shift again does not have any effect on T0. Alright, why? Because this T0 only depends on what? It only depends on the angular frequency or the angular velocity or what? Omega naught. This only depends on omega naught. So it has nothing to do with uh, with the phase of the function. Is that fine? Now the second was what? The second that we saw was time scale. Time scale. Now let me tell you that time scaling does have an effect on the fundamental time period. Okay. So let's say x of t is the original signal and it has a fundamental period of t naught, right? Now if you scale the function with any value a, so if x of t is scaled to x of a t, x of a t, now this x of a t will have a fundamental period of t naught upon the magnitude of a. Is that okay? This is x of a t is the scaled version of x of t. Fine. Now we see the same example. Let's say you have sine of 2 pi t and, and let's say we, we multiply it with 2 t. So let's say value of a is equal to 2 and we have the third function. So x3 
is equal to x of 2 times t, x1 of 2 times t, which means that in x1, in place of t, now you put 2t. So, which means that x3 of t is equal to sine of 2 pi into 2t. So, this implies what? That x3 of t is sine of 2 2 is 4, 4 pi t. Is that fine? Now, we have the next function is 4 pi t. So, over here, have a look. Omega naught in this case is equal to 4 pi. So, this implies what? That t naught is equal to 2 pi upon omega naught. This is equal to 4 pi. So, have a look. 2 pi pi and 1 over 2. So, this is 1 over 2 which is a 0.5 second. So, have a look. It has become half of it. By doubling the frequency, it has become half. And similarly, by halving omega naught, t naught would become double. Here we have seen the first case. Isn't it so? So, have a look. Initially, here 1 second. Now, we have a 0.5 second. So, we mean that time scaling does have an effect on this. Now, this a was 0, this a was 2. Now, if you consider a equal to 0 0.5, so you do it for yourself. Fine. This was the second transformation. The third transformation that we saw was time reversal or time folding or time inversion. It has many names, right? So, let me tell you again. That, uh, that what? That it has no effect on the fundamental language, right? Time reversal has no effect on fundamental time period that is T1. Over here, you know that this A cannot be equal to 0, right? A cannot be equal to 0. This is absolutely understood. Now some points that are already understood, so I don't mention it over here. Now. Like in the previous video, I said that if a number is involving under the root, so it will be an irrational number. So now my younger sister was sitting over here and she asked me that if it is involving under the root 16, so would it be a rational number or irrational number? So I told her that so someone studying single then system, they know that under the root 16 is not under the root 16, it's 4. So this is something understood that this A cannot be equal to 0. So I don't need to mention these sort of points, right? So time reversal has no effect on the fundamental time period. So, so let's say considering the same single sign of 2t and let's say now over here we have x4 of t is x1 of negative t. So which means you time reverse the first signal. So this would be equal to sign of 2 pi into negative t. Now we know that sine is an odd function which means that sine of negative t is equal to negative times sine of t. Sine is odd function. Sine is odd function. So which means sine of negative t equals negative times sine of t. So this x4 basically would now be equal to negative times sine of 2 pi t. Now this negative, this has something to do with the amplitude. The amplitude would be reflected about the x-axis. It has nothing to do with the time period. Have a look, because time period is only dependent again, I say, on omega naught. And omega naught again over here is equal to 2 pi, which means that again your t naught is equal to 2 pi upon 2 pi, and this is equal to 1 second. Is that point? So that's all about it. That is all about it. Time shifting, no effect on the fundamental time period. Time scaling, sorry, wait. Time reversal, no effect on the fundamental time period. Ta phase shift, no effect on the fundamental time period. But time scaling does have an effect on the fundamental time period, as we've seen, as we've seen over here. X of 80 is the scale signal. You divide the original magnitude, you divide the original fundamental time period by the magnitude of A. Here I took the value of A is equal to 2. Let's say I take A is equal to 0.5. I do it for you, okay? So, so, so let's say any signal X of T 
generally this is how x I will confuse it s of b is equal to x1 of x1 of 0.5 t so I have a look s of t is equal to what in x1 you put 0.5 t is t so you have sine of 2 pi into 0.5 of t so this basically will be equal to sine of and 0.5 divided by 2 means what? It means 1. So this means pi t. Sine of pi t. And have a look now over here. The angular frequency is omega naught is equal to pi. So which means t naught is equal to 2 pi upon pi. Which means that the, 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 the fundamental time period. Fundamental time period is 2 pi upon pi. So which means that this is equal to 2 seconds. So have a look, I told you that the A value would be 2, so the time period would be double. If the A is 2, the time, sorry, if the A value is 2, the time period would be half. If the A value is 0.5, the time period would be double. And this is the generalized form. So this is something only important in this lecture. Because this has an effect, the others does not have any effect. This is A. So now that's all about today, that's all about the time transformations, see you in the next lecture with amplitude transformations, till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you, goodbye.